adventures of Macanamphia. Uh, this morning's Christmas morning. Uh, we've got up and got out for a quick walk this morning down, down at a recreation area down in the village. Now, as much as it embarrasses me to say this, I've lived in it in 20 years. I've never actually been down here. And there's also, a, at the end of it, a really good walk that's called the Estrecho, which goes down through a really narrow gully through the cliffs. So we're, we're going to go and uh, have a walk along there and have a look. Amphia has woken up with a cold this morning, as I probably mentioned in their videos in the past. If anything happens to anybody, it's going to happen to Amphia, and she's woken up with a cold. I don't think I've got it, but we don't know. Uh, she, just before that, she suspected it was just, you know, from the pines and the dust from the bike ride we did. But no, we woke up this morning, and, it, and it's definitely a cold. She didn't want it, but she wants me to get it even less. She always says she suffers more when I get a cold than when she gets one. So, uh, yeah, she definitely doesn't want to get it. I definitely don't want to get it. So, uh, we're sat in the house, both wearing masks uh, to try and stop that. So, uh, it won't hurt us to come out and get some fresh air, basically, and, uh, and have a good walk around. Uh, I mean, I'll just spin you around and show you a few little things, and then, and then we'll get on with the walk. Okay, so you can see the recreation uh, area down here. Um, it's actually down what they call a barranco, a barranco uh, in Espanol. Uh, it's a, a deep cut gully or gorge uh, where the water runs down normally. This is sort of a plateau up off the side of it. Quite a pretty little place. I've done a nice job down here. Um, up above you can see, probably just up that distance there, you can see the tennis course, which I can actually double up and turn into a five-side football pitch. There's also uh, an outdoor pool there with cafe and restaurant, which is normally only open in the, in the summer months, although I believe the bar and restaurant is now sometimes open more often than that. And there's a sort of a, a pitch, it's a bit like, I don't know what they call it in Spanish or, or over in Europe, but it's like, it's a bit like a squash court, but it's only got two walls on it. Sorry, what was that for you? Paddle, it's called paddle apparently. So yeah, that's up there above there as well. You can see we're just on the, uh, the edge of the village. There's uh, murals, up, murals up on the wall up there. So yeah, it's a really nice little, little place down here. So it's a surprise I've never been down here before. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna shoot at the end of the park here. Hang on right, and we're going to go down and go and check this gorge out. We've cheated a little bit, we haven't walked from the house, we've uh, driven down by the van even though it's about a kilometre. We just really want to stretch our legs because uh, yes, yesterday we did very little after the bike ride. I'm not sure whether that video will come out before this one or after, I'm not sure, it depends. But uh, yeah, it, it, uh, we nearly didn't make it back. Uh, my battery just conked so I got to the top of the drive and it was really touch and go that we might be spending a night in the wilderness at one point. Anyway, we'll get on with this walk, and as we get something a bit more interesting, I'll bring you back in. So it looks like we're coming to the start of the, the gully here. A little stream still running down the side there. Uh, even though we've had a really hot summer, it's still, obviously still running down from the mountains. Probably from the source that I showed you in the bike ride, the, in that bike ride video up into the Sierras. Up above there is where we've just come from with the park. So you can see that sort of on the plateau on the, on the edge of the gorge. Now, come around down here. I really don't know what to expect, so I've never, never been here. Shop above that uh, my first come in, you still see the remnants of a bit there. They're gradually coming over, it's all now. And that white building up the top there, as you can actually see, is a village cemetery. Quite high up the top there. So we've got a fallen tree up ahead. Have you ever been down this far, Amphia? No, she hasn't been. When Amphia used to uh, be working before she was ill to actually do quite a lot of work down here with the town hall, with the gardens and the uh, shrubs and plants and land clearing. I'm 
than that. There's a few holes we don't want to fall down. Hold down a broken leg isn't going to go down well. Now it looks like we've picked the stream up again, which uh, we'll see if it runs underneath the ground at some point. Okay, we'll go a bit further down and I'll bring you back in. Snow, isn't it? A stretcho is, is Spanish for uh, narrow. Uh, we've got the way blocked, was there another way round? Oh, yeah, truly it's beautiful down there. Yeah, it's lovely. Box hanging right up over the tops of the beard, look. Pave up the top there. Yeah, it's a weird shape tree, yeah. It's a fig, oh, right, yeah. It's always amazing me with these trees, you can pamper them and they just die on you. And then you go on a walk and you find them growing out of a crack in the rock somewhere. Sort of what's happening here. Yeah, we've got, we've got a big, huge fig tree here, and see a few little saplings there as well. I bet it's nice and cool down here in the, uh, in the summer. Yo, it's a bit of a scramble. Yeah? Oh, yeah. We've cleared water down here. That is seriously clear, isn't it? Yeah. That almost certainly comes from the same source. If you saw the previous bicycle ride video, or the next bicycle ride video, I'm not sure what order I'm going to do them in. Um, that probably comes from that source up there. Really lucky where we are here because it's full of natural springs. A lot of places don't have it. I mean, um, I've got, we've got water rights for down at the farm. If we didn't have, we relied on the rain, uh, that would be it, all our trees would be dead. Alfie's asking how far we're going to go, we really need to come out the end of here. I know I know where this does actually come out because I've been on the ride with a boat across the bike. Found that way before. Got the stream coming through again, it's pulled up the bus. Coming out from the ground there, more or less there. We can do this walk in a loop, but uh, we don't want to do anything too ambitious today. We just basically want to get out and uh, get some fresh air. Keep going, but if it looks like we're going to get our feet wet, we'll turn back. Okay, we're going to go a bit further. Hanfi's sort of done but I will go along to the end anyway. But she's going to give it a little go. She's got a stick, so she hopefully she'll be okay. But it is getting a bit rocky and slippy, and the last thing we want on Christmas Day is to end up down with a broken arm or leg. There you go, I feel about fear at least if she breaks something, it'll be good content for YouTube. <laughs> Slipping around, okay. Okay, I'll set that time nearly. Are you going to stop? Alfie's going to stop and rest there because I've just slipped down there, so um, yeah, she's not going to risk it. I'll carry on a bit further and show you the end of this. Yeah, I think with the water running over these rocks for all those years, yeah, they've got really, really polished and smooth. I've got wet soles, they're quite good boots, but they're not gripping. So, super careful on this bit of a pond. I'm not sure how good the light's going to come from this camera, it's not bad. See the uh, stream's catching us up down here now. So I never realised it was this good down here. Okay, 
Yeah, it's getting hard to walk, but hard to know where to put your feet. There's a few stepping stones here. Good call for Alfie to stop where she did. Shot up above there, you can see it almost touching the rocks. Hello, Dumpy, you're having to sit on the rock. Give us a wave. No, she can't hear us. Okay, let's carry on a bit further. Okay, we might be just about coming out of it. Starting to get lighter around here. Definitely looks like a great place to be when it gets hot here. Yeah, got a few stepping stones just to get across here. Like that's the rope you've been done with. <laughs> Almost against the rock. I bet it's good for mushrooms down here. I don't remember what the bicycle ride what they're called, but uh, I have done now. They've got setters de alimo, uh, the, wild, uh, the wild mushrooms that grow edible. Really nice, quite expensive if you buy them from the shops, but they grow naturally out here. And uh, yeah, they go, they grow near, near certain trees. Yeah, it looks like we're coming out of here. I think I'm going to call it a day here. It's looking to be down there. I've left down here with a cold in the shade. She's probably cold. Uh, I think I'll go back. Okay, I'll uh, I'll stop here. I'll uh, I'll take a few more bits of footage if it looks good from the opposite direction. But as usual, I'll try not to just pour you from the same footage in reverse. Probably about the worst of it down the side there, these little stepping stones have been put down the edge. I think Alfie, Alfie is still there, I can hear coughs e echoing down here. Yeah, there she is in the distance waving away. There she is, still here, hasn't got her phone back to bed. <laughs> actually, some of the rocks are falling in above, above, here, above here and are actually touching. Either side is both touching. Okay. We'll move back up and I'll bring you back in when we get to the end. Just for uh, to end the video, I'd uh, text a video of the facilities here uh, in the village. Uh, just below there, I don't think so, it's very covers. That's actually a septic tank that I, I, I took down and dug the hole for and everything with my mini digger. Turned out to be a uh, proper stump work there, we had to come down the slope there. There was uh, no room really to put the arse end of the digger or get any maneuverability in there to put it in, but it's quite a difficult job, but it turned out all right in the end. See a swim pool there. Obviously it's minging at the mix, it's out of use, I'll start cleaning that up a couple of weeks before it's due to open normally. Uh, walk back through here. Paddle board apparently according to Amphia, or paddle is what it's called, called the uh, sort of a two-sided squash court. And then we've got through here the football pitch. There and just so they can see a bit further on this, it's a tennis court. Turn back round and go round. It's like to say, um, this is one of the things I like about Spain. There's plenty I don't like, don't get me wrong, but uh, one of the things I do like about Spain is because we've got local representation in all the villages, we never miss out on the amenities. I mean, you think this village has a population of 250 people, which is about 340 on the books, um, but yeah, actually, 250 people live here. And look at all the amenities you get here in a small village like this compared to say somewhere in the uk what happens because we've got a mayor here working full time and uh town you know village council representing us full time they make sure we get our fair share they make sure we get the free grants and all the money to do and put all the maximum amount of facilities for the people in the village they make sure they get that as opposed to say in the uk where you, you know you're lucky if you've got a village shop these days which i think is really quite sad also a good thing about living in a village like this, it's uh, there's still actually a village community. Everybody knows everybody. Unfortunately, everybody knows everybody else's business, which is a bit of a downside of it again. 
But um, yeah, everybody knows everybody and sort of look and does look out for each other to a certain extent. There's Anthea down there below in little van waiting for me. Just in the distance, uh, I'll put an arrow in later on and try and point to it. You can see the part we've just gone and, and the uh, ex stretcho, a stretcho, we just walked down. Okay, so we'll end that video there. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Uh, please go uh, to our channel and check out all our other videos. We've got lots of interesting videos on kayaking, motorhoming, walking, uh, cycling, loads of cycling videos down here in southern Spain and up in northern Spain as well. So uh, go over to the channel and check those all out. You, you, you won't regret it. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.